नमस्कार वेलकम टू ऑनस्ट एस्ट्रोलॉजी यूट्यूब चैनल एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट टिप्स फॉर अ हैप्पी मैरिड लाइफ विच द पेरेंट्स शुड फॉलो इन ऑर्डर टू एंश्योर दैट देयर चिल्ड्रन आर हैप्पी सो इट माइट कम अप विथ सम बेटर ट्रूथ इट माइट कम अप विथ सम थिंग्स विच आर अगेंस्ट द ट्रेडिशनल विजडम बट आई एम अंडर द ओथ ऑफ ऑनेस्टी सो माई अपोलॉजी इज इन एडवांस If something hurts you, I don't intend to hurt you or your children. I want to give them a happy life. As an astrologer, that's my mission to make people happy and to put them on the path of their destiny. So, dear parents, in my line of work, I deal with a lot of troubled marriage cases. Okay, and in my view, the system is broken. The way Indians get married is absolutely broken. So, in order to fix the system, we need to know what's wrong with it. And yours truly is an expert at. telling the honest truth okay so after going through hundreds and hundreds of good and bad marriage analysis maybe a few thousand i have some advice for ensuring that your children can have a successful and a happy marriage okay let's start number 1 tip your children are not your slaves they are adult human beings with a functioning brain please do not force them into a marriage i repeat do not force them into a marriage second thing love marriage is a good idea okay until unless the other party is very bad please do not object to a love marriage in the ancient times most of the marriages were love marriages or swayamvar okay sita ram was a swayamvar krishna rukmani was a love marriage bhim hidimba was a love marriage you know so on and so forth only arranged marriage that i can think of is dhritarashtra gandhari and we all know the consequences so please do not be very adamant about getting your children in an arranged marriage it's it's not a good idea another thing intercaste marriage is not a sin okay if the girl or the boy is suitable and is doing well in life and is a good human being please do not judge people by their caste judge them by who they are don't break your children's heart from get for uh, getting shabashi from your samaj third thing children and marriage should be optional they should not be compulsory for everyone the tragedy of india is you may or may not have a 10th ka certificate but you will have a husband or a wife there are people who are not supposed to get married they have a different life path please do not push them into marriage if they don't want to get it never ends well it never ends well i can give you a list of people i told not to get married their parents felt very bad they got them married sent me a message dekha humne kar diya and my reply was ab to dekhenge most of the marriage did not last even 2 years so please see if your child is mentally emotionally ready for the marriage. next point if your son is gay please don't marry him to a girl this is shockingly common if the boy is born with a certain uh, homosexual uh, tendencies it's okay if he doesn't get married at least do not marry him to a girl don't ruin an innocent life this is shockingly common this is shockingly common so if your boy is gay you can go out and tell your samaj okay my son doesn't want to get married but please do not push him into a marriage with a girl you will ruin the boy's life you will ruin the girl's life and you will incur a lot of sin next earnings of a boy and looks of a girl yes they do matter i would agree to it but please ensure that it's a good human being who is compatible with your child okay don't just run after a fat paycheck or a pretty face if the person is not nice please do not marry your child to that person even if he or she has a government job or a big house or a lot of money next now this one is especially for girls It's okay if she gets married in her thirties. Human beings do not come with an expiry date. She will marry when the time comes. And I got my daughter married before you is not an Olympic event. Stop competing about it. Let her find the nice man. Let her find the man she likes. Then uh, I have seen this hypocrisy of Desi parents. Ki boss, my daughter is a princess. My daughter-in-law should be a maid. Why, boy? as parents it's our responsibility to raise responsible young men and sensible young ladies okay do not raise a papa ke pari or mai ka lal 
they will make someone else miserable next thing tell your daughter that the wedding day is not her biggest day it's the start of her new life so the next day and the days after that will matter a lot do not do not make her a bridezilla okay another one especially uh, for parents kya burai hai is not a valid argument to push your child into marrying the latest available idiot he or she is looking for a mate not a toothbrush she can't change him that easily he can't change her that easily i am a vocal advocate of love marriages don't talk to a stranger but marry one is desi parent motto and i am absolutely against it next point never marry your daughter to a family which asks for dowry and i am absolutely against the big fat indian wedding it should be illegal it should be banned you have loads of bills and a bunch of angry relatives in the end parents burn millions in one night and the bride and the groom they pay emi for the next 20 30 years and become old man and woman with very little cash on them while their parents burn millions in one night aise hoga vikas aisa nahi hoga so do a court marriage get them a small ceremony in a mandir or a gurudwara whatever you can give a small party and save the rest of the money give it to the newlyweds buy them a property your grandchildren will thank you someday please stop the madness known as the big fat indian wedding and very important one a boy who is not earning must not get married no he will not reform after marriage don't ruin a girl's life better ensure that your son earns for at least one year before he climbs the bloody ghodi let him earn for one year before you get him married men who do not earn have no right to get married they always ruin lives okay so now i will talk more from astrological point of view after all this is business so let me break the biggest news mangli is more of a hoax what is mangli i'll make a spe- uh, separate video on it do not worry if your child is mangli and he or she is marrying a non mangli matching horoscopes is a different game which most people do not know manglik is more of a hoax more divorces happen because of sun and ketu number 3 is shani mars is poor number 4 uska dhol peet diya humne uske badnami kar diya and here is the big fat one guna milan sucks it is the worst way of matching compatibility between two individuals it's a scam people guna milan is a scam hindu arranged marriages would never have a single divorce if guna milan worked and guess what they are the biggest chunk of divorces in india hindu arranged marriages because guna milan absolutely does not work i'll make a separate video on it then let the people decide do not run after charts if they are getting into a love marriage do not make them break just because aap chart nahi match hota it's a very bad idea in ancient times uh, in the enlightened vedic times people would not marry after matching charts they would marry if they liked each other you are marrying two people you are not marrying two charts so if the boy and girl like each other in a love marriage i am against even matching the charts if it is uh, an arranged marriage uh, if say somebody is as hopeless as i am who has no option but to get into an arranged marriage that's fine you can get the charts match but most people do not know how to match a chart okay you need to see horoscope to horoscope compatibility planet to planet compatibility most people in the name of horoscope matching run a software cut 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 guna milan oh ji 27 very good and then you see the boy and girl want to kill each other guna milan is really bad the way you do it is horoscope to horoscope compatibility matching which most people don't even know how to do and in most love marriages i've seen that charts are mostly in harmony okay if required we can get a remedy or two done but please do not break your child's heart because chart nahi match ho raha what if the time is wrong what if the date is wrong what if the astrologer who was matching them did not know what they were doing krishna married rukmani chart mila ke ki 
अर्जुन मैरिज सुभद्रा चाट में ला के किया राम मैरिड सीता चाट में ला के किया कहने वाले कहते हैं बेस्ट मैचिंग थर्टी सिक्स गुना मैच एंड लुक एट देअर मैरिड लाइफ हॉरेबल हॉरेबल सो प्लीज फर्स्ट एस्ट्रोलॉजिकल में द मोर इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट इज लॉजिकल सो इन केस योर चाइल्ड वॉन्ट्स टू गेट इन अ लव मैरिज लुक एट द पर्सन डोंट लुक एट द चार्ट इफ द पर्सन इज नाइस गेट द मैरिज गुना मिलान एप्सोल्यूटली रबिश यू नो आई गिव यू एन एग्जाम्पल दे वुड से एन एरीज मून एंड अ कैंसर मून वुड बी वेरी हैप्पी टूगेदर बिकॉज द लॉर्ड ऑफ द मून साइंस आर फ्रेंड्स दीज टू विल ईट ईच अदर अ लाइफ people simply forget the basic one is fire one is water both are cardinal cancer would cry aries would go mad please don't marry these two until unless their charts are in very good harmony but i'm telling you how bad this guna milan thing is so if you are logical astrological would help you if you are getting into an arranged marriage then it makes sense to maybe match the charts first especially if the boy and girl like each other but if they don't like somebody don't even bother about the chart and if they like the person then you can contact an astrologer and see what are the remedies that are required to be done but please listen to your children follow logic namaskar